What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. And this is another episode of Rich's Kicks. Um, today, I just want to talk about championship packs. We got a new championship, um, Jordan Championship Pack, coming up this year. And last year, the championship pack, I was not able to get either one of these shoes, the cigar nor the champagne. They were both dope, in my opinion, although I choose to lean a little bit towards the, um, the cigar. Cigar, I have, think, have better colorway. And that champagne was just a little bit too glossy for me. Um, dope shoes. Both was dope shoes. And, of course, for people who didn't know, it's based off of um, the cigar and the uh, champagne that they had in celebration in the locker room um, after Jordan won his um, first championship. So those shoes were significant for MJ in his uh, first championship. I'm wondering if they're going to do a championship pack for every year. He did a championship. I think that would only make sense to do that, especially when you could charge uh, $250 for a pair of sneakers and um, have them limited and people go crazy and they sell out anyway. So, yeah. But the uh, champagne from last year, it was okay. I didn't like the gloss, the shininess. I like the colorway, but it was just a little too glossy and shiny for me. But I love the fact that they had the uh, clear tongues on them and the clear midsole. The cigars was dope, though. Like, in my opinion... The cigars was just, I just love that colorway. They pop off your feet. They look like they were just made with that supreme quality. And um, for as much as you're paying for the shoe, that's what you want. But for new, the new championship pack, the 2015 Jordan Air Jordan 7 championship pack action, we got your cigar and champagne. Uh, <laughs> that I, I'm, I'm not as crazy about these as I was about the last year's championship pack. As far as the cigars, the champagnes seem like they kind of let me down again, especially going with an all-white, a mostly white upper with a little gold hints here and there. But I really dig the, um, I really do dig, I love Sevens. If anybody don't know yet, Sevens are my favorite Jordan model. And um, you got to make some straight-up ugly Sevens for me not to want to cop a Jordan 7. But in my opinion, these maroon ones, which I think probably should be based more on the cigar, um, as far as the championship pack goes, I think those are dope. The maroon, burgundy, whatever you, colorway you want to call it. These images came up a few days ago. These guys got them early. I have no idea how they got them early. They know people who work for Jordan. I have no idea, but I know they got them. And uh, I love the material that this shoe is made out of. Seems like it's made out of some kind of uh, really good new buck or dura buck or whatever. Um, you have your, your like all kind of off-white midsoles. You got your gold hits. And that gum bottom, I think, really just makes that shoe pop so much that gum bottom against that maroon color a lot of people say they don't like either one of these shoes and hey that's fine your opinions are your opinions and you are um entitled to your opinions but in my opinion these are very dope um i try to get them of course you probably have to do a couple of raffles because of course they're going to be very limited here's a little shot of the insole just seemed like they made these shoes with a uh, decent quality and for 250 dollars a pop is what i'm hearing they're going to be they better make them with some good quality you know what i'm saying because that's a lot of money to spend on one kick. Here's an on feet uh, look at these. Like I said, I don't know how these dudes got them, but hey, more power to them. They're very dope. Actually, this looks more like a leather on this picture. Um, I was saying new buck, but it looks more like a leather when the sun hits off of it. Anyway, whatever it is, it looks like a um, pretty pretty good material. And we have the champagnes. Not too big on these. Like I said, if, if I was to come across them, you know me knowing sevens, I probably would still cop. But I'm not crazy about them just because of the whole white midsole. Even if they, I mean, I would prefer the whole upper not be white. But even if they just change the midsole and the mountain peaks to another color, if spending $250 for a shoe, you don't want a shoe that's going to get dirty as soon as you undes or undead stock, whatever y'all want to call it. As soon as you step out on the ground with them, you don't want them to get dirty. And when that, uh, might, that, that white midsole is just... I just I just can't see my that white midsole and the outsole. I can't see myself just paying two hundred fifty dollars on the shoe with all that white. Um, it's not terrible in my opinion. I probably have to see images on feet. I wasn't able to find any images of these on feet. Um, but I don't know. I kind I kind of lean more towards the um, the maroon or the cigar uh, colorway in my opinion. But like I said, the white uh, that white outsole. Uh, I can't do it. A lot of people thinking it was going to be a, a pack, both of them, for $500, which I'm glad they didn't do. So I, I like when Jordan Brand lets you decide what shoe you want to get instead of having to buy both of them. And it looks like from this box right here, they are going to be packaged individually and run for about $250 a piece. 
So, you guys just comment below and tell me what's your opinion on these sneakers. I've been going back and forth with a few guys on Instagram about it. And um, I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video about it to see what everybody else thought about these shoes. I know a lot of people are on the fence. They don't know if they like them. They don't know if they don't. They like them or not. But um, um, I dig I dig the maroon ones and the, and the and the champagne ones are they they okay too. They are okay. I just like I say, if I'm gonna go for a pair, it probably was gonna be the maroon or uh, whatever burgundy or uh, 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 what is it? a cigar, whatever you want to call that shoe. Um, like, like just like last year's models, they put the little um, championship rings on them, and just a nice little dope touch. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're spending for 250. I know I keep bringing it up, but hey, that's a lot of money to spend on a pair of sneakers. Anyway, it's been your boy Mike Rich, man. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all thought about this vid, and tell me what y'all thought about these sneakers, man. And as always, hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff, man. And you already know, keep watching my videos, cause that's what I'm here for. Gone.